Oh yeah, it's your boy Bill Martell, you know what I'm saying? With Mud Boot Media, you know what I'm saying? Live out the mud. We finna check out Intimate Comedy Thursdays with my man Floyd Brown. We finna go inside and see what's cracking, you know what I'm saying? You Thursdays, so y'all make a round of applause for yourselves being out. I see you stands for Intimate Comedy Uproar. We wanted a real intimate setting that where people can really, you know what I'm saying, let their head down. This show going right along. First person I'm gonna bring up here to do their thing is a female. She's one of the baddest females out here in, in the valley doing her thing. I've been knowing her now for what about what seven, eight years, something like that, yeah? And we've been doing it. She's one of my sisters in comedy. She's funny as hell. Y'all give it up for my girl. She goes by the name of Ie uh, Aziza Louise. I call her ass. Jokes. Y'all put your hands together for business. He's a joke. What's up, y'all? I done messed around and had some damn Hennessy. Now I'm feeling myself. How y'all doing? What's up, Sprinkles? <laughs> I'm not brand new. You Sprinkles tonight. Shit. I gotta rub myself sincere with perspiring and shit. I feel like I got stew dripping down my damn face. How you doing? Y'all good? Y'all work together? Y'all yeah. hiring? <laughs> like, I work. I'm looking for okay. another job. Shit, I, the LT does justice. We're for real, for real. We gonna talk. If I don't, if yeah. I forget, please let me uh, message me right now. I ain't gonna y'all yeah. forget. Yep. How y'all doing? Hey, y'all going live and shit. This is live. I like this shit. I have never did a comedy show inside a man cave. Oh, Cause I don't want to disrespect the neighbors and shit. Cause I know. You feel me? I'm renting. Is it rent? What the fuck my on the corner right now circling around this motherfucker. So I was like, I know this ain't in this damn complex. Like, they probably around Walgreens right now. He knows the Walgreens. I don't know. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to hold my balance and shit. I was like, I don't know what the hell to talk about. But I want to talk. Let me get this shit. Cause I got that shit around my mouth. I ain't gonna suck it. Okay. <laughs> You know I don't know no offense to any Latinos, but it's a group of Mexicans that be outside every day at Home Depot ready to work. You feel me? And I'm like, you know what? They deserve that shit. They just getting that shit. They don't mind. They don't That's mind right. working, and I love that shit. So it's no problem for me to see my brothers out here doing this shit. They done made up signs and shit with chalk and shit. That's and right. And I'm like, that's what's up. They done hooked this shit up. Y'all give it up for the people. Yeah. 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 about to come, but he had got stopped by the police. It's a long story. But I'm just so glad he didn't get his car towed. You feel me? Ain't that a blessing? They took the license plate, though. They took his license, but he still got the car. I'm like, we still won, baby. Put your chin up. Yeah. But it's no shade, no bimbers. I ain't gonna shave my chin. <laughs> I like to take pictures. You gotta let a bitch know. You feel me? I ain't got money for a photo shoot. I got four kids. Okay. That's, that's equivalent to 25 in life. <laughs> I'm never gonna get out. <laughs> but I love my kids. I do. I love my kids. Sometimes I think that my daughter. Sometimes I wish I would have just stood up and let her just drip down my leg. <laughs> So it's nothing, because I was special ed, her dad was special ed, so it's good, she was born here. But like, we just found out yesterday that they want her to go into the remedial classroom, right? And like, I was hella hurt, because I didn't have to go to the remedial classroom. Because I was like, the, I, I was like the, aunt, the Valley Victorian in my special ed class. I was, I was killing them bitches. 
different to the sun and the bird pronouns and shit. And so like my daughter, she's in regular class right now and she's and she's doing good. But she has those meltdowns and shit. And so I don't want her to get medicated. I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna give her a damn CBD oil in the morning. <laughs> Y'all laughing, I'm for real. I just, yeah, I hope that shit work out. Cause my daughter, sometimes she surprises me anyway. She surprises the hell out of my head. I got cotton mouth. It's funny, I get cotton mouth all the time. I even wrote a song about that shit. Y'all wanna hear my song? Hey. Yeah. It's like this. Dig on your lips. Come on, get fucked up. Dig on my lips. Stop snapping and shit. Dig on my lips. Dig on my lips. Dig on my lips. There we go. Every time I get high, my lips they tingle. My lips they stuck. I get like this, that's on my lips. That was so good. <laughs> I wrote this shit by myself. Because I, I was the one that said, man, I was a writer and shit. I had a, I had a poetry book. And it was so sweet because my auntie died. They put my poetry book in the obituary. And like, I was so happy because I was like, finally I'm published. That shit rocks. I want to thank the lady who gave me the damn double Hennessy. <laughs> No, she gave me two of them. Oh, I was oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me tell y'all this before I go. So I went to a wedding and I caught the bouquet, right? And I'm hella happy and I found my garter from prom. This shit say 99. Is this your new? I don't want to get me. You don't even take me at this club. I'm gonna tell you. you know, Everybody let it get to the time they do. Hey, <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
It's your boy Bill Martell TV, and I'm here with Aziza Jokes. And we here at the ICU. The ICU, the intimate comedy uproar, you understand? With my man Floyd Brown. Um, Aziza, how you enjoyed yourself tonight? You know, I actually, thank you, sir. You know, I actually enjoyed myself. I had a blast. Myself and two other comics, we was able to come out and um, do some comedy. Um, the best part about it, it was intimate, so I was able to become one with the with the audience. And uh, it was a full crowd. We sold out, standing room only. So hey, there's never wrong with that. And um, it was fun. But um, yeah, that's what I have going on. Sorry, did I take over. I do that sometimes. I'm a mom. It was. Can't wait till next Thursday. That's right. Uh -oh. How'd you like the food? It was good, oh, wasn't it? Good, wow. good. Thank good. you. Good. Thank you so much for coming out. That's what's up. Well, who was that? DJ Slab? Was that what his name? Uh, I know he's from Chicago. Yeah, slab. 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 We gonna call him Slab tonight. I know, right? Uh, yeah, I enjoy myself. Aziza Jokes is super funny, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all check her out. Follow her on Instagram, at Aziza Jokes, you know what I'm saying? And make sure you network and tune in. We out the mud.